Hello folks, welcome to chapter 4, uh, which is Paradise Lost. So we're leaving the Grey Mother behind at long last. Uh, let's have a look at the map, and we're currently there. And we're going to go via the Milton Supply Cache that we got as um, a result of talking to Grey Mother and getting her trust. And then we're going to go all the way down here to Paradise Lost. Alright, so let's get going. I've, um, I've stocked up, um, I've repaired a lot of my clothes and dropped a bit of stuff. We've got the mountaineering rope and everything like that from last time, which is 5 kilograms of solid weight, which means our pack is very heavy, but there's not much we can really do about it. I've got hardly any food at the moment, got quite a lot of water, and everything else seems quite essential, um, but I'm still about five kilograms over the limit. So I will have to have to get some food as we go, so I will actually have to look out for corpses and that. Uh, luckily, it looks like the wolves are not around at the moment. Uh, let's have a look around. Everything seems to be fine. I'm wondering, is there anything left in this thing? There's a little bit. We may have to cook that up later. That's actually very cold out here. Ah, that'll do. That'll have to do for now. Oh, it's got certainly quite a bit lighter since last time. Um, <laughs> I looked. Right. Okay. So, got to keep an eye on. Oh, hang on. Where are we going? I think we went the long way around. Need to keep an eye on this. So it's right at the very right hand. Well, yeah, the very right hand end of this. But it might be a bit tricky to find. Because I wasn't really paying a huge amount of attention to the original dialogue. So I'm guessing it's kind of like here-ish. Let's have a look. Although we can't see ourselves in the map, so it doesn't really mean much. But it looks like there's a tree, I think. Oh, I don't know. But maybe if we have a bit of a peek around here, see if there's anything. God, I don't think I'm going to find it. Can we even get in any in any way, shape or form? Presumably not. That there's anything in there. Maybe have a look in here. No, totally sealed. Oh, <laughs> all right. Antibiotics, antiseptic, energy bar, painkillers, and that's it. I'm having a look at the journal. Uh, what is it? The um, the side quests, uh, supply caches, supply caches. There's more than one, apparently. So I guess you actually have to go and f rifle through houses and find more goddamn bloody things. Some coal, that might be completely pointless. Right, no, no, that would make good firewood. Right, let's actually get moving. So we've found the cache. Uh, that was quite straightforward. And um, we have we are actually very cold, and there's a wolf up ahead. I'm guessing, well, well this time we'll have to turn right at the um, the gas station, because that's where we need to be. But I suspect it might be a good idea to du um, duck into the, the the gas station from the from the back door again because of the wolves, uh, and then just heat up again using the bin, the big bloody heat bin. Uh, I better actually let my stamina come back because we may have to do some running for the last few yards to get away from Wolfie McWolferson. Can't feel my feet. Ooh. Right. So got to be careful, keeping a beady eye. On Br'er Wolf. Still very heavy. Look at that. Look at him. Look how much stamina we've got. Viva! Lads, I heard it. Wolfie! Oh, I've run out of stamina. Quick. Hup! Oh, I didn't realise that, that was actually the bog door. This is <laughs> the gas station's bog door. It actually says it on the on the front. So we're going to have a bit of tricky, tricky old time getting out of here. Uh, we've had a good old look around here before. That might be my matches that I dropped out a while ago. So let's actually do a bit of lighting. Got some ex We've got some lamp oil. That's all we've got. Chance of success, 90. Oh, can let's burn some cash. Uh, I'm not sure how much we really need. So let's just do this. And add a couple of extra sticks. Maybe I should put the torch in. Oh, that added bugger all. I think we're going to um, sort of spare some wood. Maybe two, and let's really get some heat back. So let's just pass some time away. What's that? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> just an hour. That should get us right up to the top. But we will need a, a little slug of water as well, I think. And we're fully ready to go again. Oh, some, all, this, all this stuff that I dropped previously. Uh, antiseptic? Mm, might take it. Why not? Everything else is books. Right, let's go. I think I've, I think I've, I've searched all these. 
Empty. Yep, 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 yep. All done. So I will take a trip out the front door this time. God, there's all more stuff that I've just left behind, including a, a burnt out flare. There's a feeling I must have missed some things here. But never mind, let's get going. Right, I should have actually checked the map, shouldn't I? But I'm pretty sure I know where to go. Wolf there. Right, let's go this way. Ooh, a sticky stick. That'll replace the one I just burnt. Ooh, picnic tables. Yeah, this is definitely the right way. Definitely haven't been here before. So I, I could have gained more trust with Mother um, and get um, some things like rabbit skin blueprints uh, and also some flare gun stuff. But that would have taken quite a bit of um, fanning it. Oh, hello. Ah. I, oh, dear. That's a kind of like a I can't be bothered situation. <laughs> uh. Nah, there's nothing else in here. Well, fine. So if I did go back to the bank, I could get some extra something or other. But I fear we should actually move on, because we are in Chapter 4 now. Don't want to look back. Bye-bye, Milton. Right, just double-check to see if we're not going to get stomped by some prickery. Um, Wolf-wise. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't like the fact that we are now deep into the realm of I've got too heavy a pack, and there's no way I can really do much about that anytime soon. Let's see how much I've actually got. 34 kilograms, that's 4 kilograms too many. And there's anything else. No, that's just that clear-cut area, isn't it? Right, let's get moving. Lots of stone. I've, I've, I've dropped all my stones. And because they're just, they just lie around all over the place. Oh, is this the same? Oh, no. Hang on. Have I just completely... What did I do? That's the bus crash. How did I get turned round? Oh, bloody hell. So I need to go... Which way? I need to go left, don't I? Bloody bus crash. Bloody perseverance. Alright. Um, just have to do a bit of cross-country over here. Could have sworn I took the right fork. Nah. Fork it. Maybe there wasn't a right fork. I also feel I should be cooking that meat up. I should have... Oh, bollocks! I should have done it at the fire! Ah, the the fire bin that I made. Oh, I wasted my time as well. Oh, I just passed the time using bloody cards or whatever. What a liberty. Right, I can see rabbits ahead. I can see that, that truck. Is that the truck I just um searched? I just I think it is. I just turned left. That's why. That's what I did wrong. Oh, what an idiot. Hello, rabbits. I've got any. Look at this. Now I'm really, really close to them. Now I haven't got any bloody stones to toss at them. God damn it. Oh! Ah, okay. It's a sign! Oh, it's actually a note as well. Warning! Due to the unfortunate, the unfortunate accident, the Milton and Area Parks Board can no longer condone the use of the climbing area within the park boundaries. Additionally, earthquakes... So, there. <laughs> Is what it says. Oh, well, that's some... Um, walked into something. Uh, there's a bit more picnic action going down there. Going on down there, isn't there? There's also more sign stuff. Uh, how cold are we? We're getting, we are getting cold. We're also getting stamina deficient, which is if we're going to start climbing anytime soon, we will need to recover. But by the looks of it, we've actually been gifted a little interior. Hopefully, we can keep nice and warm. Oh, there's loads of stuff. Maybe this is the. Maybe this is. We aren't going to be just like straight up into the mountain straight away then. Oh, this is a nice, pretty little area. Oh, the apocalypse is getting prettier by the minute. And thankfully, we've got a bit of scran, some food, or in just case a can, to keep us going. There's a secret one down there and all. I cannot help but notice. Let's turn on the radio. That always works. Now we can actually cook. Let's actually cook that meat I was talking about. Oh, uh, I haven't got much of that. Right, start fire. Speed him speed. Oh, you turds! Oh, also, a spelling mistake. <laughs> ha! Um, I should have got some more. I feel like I should have got some more meat. Oh, well. All right, I've only got 32 minutes. Let's try. Let's make the most of this. Rancid? Right. Sod it. It's going to be a risk. Also heating up nicely. 
Oh, let's get some, let's get some coffee, actually. Because then I can get a heat bonus. And also keep me, hopefully, a bit for, a bit more awake. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hop! Just in time. Really made the most of that. Right, let's drink the coffee. I'll get us all back to where we need to be. And hopefully this venison won't kill us. It's a bit gamey. There we go. Right, let's see what else is around here. Fleece cowl, is that good? Desire to be laid. Let's try that. And we'll, I'll just I'll check everything else out first. A little sleepy poos. So I could actually... um. Okay, let's um, sort out anything useful. Scrap metal. That's going to be quite heavy in the old backpack. At least I've eaten that meat now. God, bloody flare shells. I haven't got a flare gun, sadly. Because I couldn't be bothered to do that. And get, get more trust out of mother. I can still eat this. Delicious granola. Actually, fuck granola. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Anything else? Any other little careful little secrets? I'm not going to bother with a stack of papers. Ah, this... Bloody hell. Flare shells everywhere. I feel like if there is a flare shell, it'll be around here somewhere. A flare gun, actually. But... Ah! Use as a last resort. Alright. And have a look at that. Right, what have we got tiredness-wise? Let's sleep. Or am I going to get cold? It's a bit difficult to say, because at the moment my temperature is being held by, um, by, held by that coffee. Hmm. This may have been a mistake. It may have actually frozen us. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're fine. So I've got some extra energy back. Desolation point. Oh, desolation point! Uh, with the the ship and all that. All right. Uh, let's see where we are. Where are we on the map? Oh, we just like them. Um, okay, we just have to pass through the park, and we shall get where we need to be. There's another thing up there. Right. I'm gonna be very careful about not um, like pissing away my stamina. So we a bit of a look see. I'd love to actually go and have a look, bit more of a look at the scenery, but. You know, survival. Don't want to die of the cold. Although this is going to be a nice little view, hopefully. Picnic area discovered. Can't really get up there. Oh, there we go. Let's have a bit of a look, since it's so close. I kind of like dare and go down there. Yeah, pretty. Very nice. Good. Well done the view. A plus view. Well, this is a bit more like it. Ooh. Icy lake. What a mysterious lake that is. It's just not, it's not mystery lake. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being silly. Oh, maybe we have to go downhill. Oh, that might be a bit more... Um, easier on the old stamina. It looks like I'm going to have to find a... In fact, hang on. Let me just go back over here. That looks like a place to attach a... Dicks. That looks like it might actually be a place to attach a rope. It isn't. Piss. <laughs> Uh. I wonder if there's any way of um. It, it, it would give me a prompt, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would give me a prompt if that was um. Oh, dicks. <laughs> if that was a genuine place to actually go mountain climbing, it would tell me. Maybe that's another one. It looks like a cock. Like a weird, stumpy cock. Ah! I have a bad feeling I'm never gonna see this place again. There we go. It's all fine. Uh, I'll put a rope around the cock. And we shall go down the thing in me, Bob. Although I am half stamina, which is not ideal. Oh sh! No, 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 no! <laughs> Just realised I was actually trying to take the rope and um, undeploying it. Right, come on. That was a mistake. So you use a lot less stamina going down a rope than you do up, obviously. But if you do need to take a rest, you can. Oh, plinky plinky music! It's a tragedy. Oh! Ow. That may have meant to happen. I don't know. What the hell? Oh, yes. I guess that rope was older than it looked. Yeah, it's broken. Okay, so that really was a gate in the game. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> right, so there's no, there really is no going back. I mean, it really was prompting me to understand that, I think. But that's fine. Um, to hell with Grey Mother, she's probably dead by now anyway. Wolves are probably broken in. Yeah. So this is... Going forwards, the game is now very much changed into a non milton type 
thing in me, Bob. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this. Climbing area this way. So I just I saw a little nook and I thought, maybe, but I don't think there's any any um nook to look at. Let's have a look at our stamina. Yeah, we will need something. I've got a bedroll. I did manage to get a bedroll at some point, I forget when. So we will be able to sleep, but not anywhere around here, because we'll need a cave or an interior. So at some point the game's going to, I guess, join up with the original sandbox um, survival game. Because I did understand it from um, the little I know that um, the start of the game, the start of the um, the story mode, is definitely all new stuff. But then at some point it will sort of like connect in with the original game. But I have no idea when that happens. I must have read up on it, but ah, whatever. So we are following some signs, I guess. Climbing area is here. This looks like a bold. Oh, cave. We do have a cave. Right, let's check our situation. Um, I will need some food, but not necessarily just yet. And by the looks of it, there's some good stuff in here. Ah! A floating fire. <laughs> Lads. That's not that good stuff. That's a good, nice little bedroll, though. But I think, as I say, I've already got one, so I'm not going to worry too much. There's a bit of... Ah, this is good. This is... um. Well, don't worry, mate. That's some coal as well. We, we are going to build one hell of a fire and probably spend the night here. Although, bloody hell, look at that. Right, so what I'll do, what I'll do first of all is have a... a completely pointless, there's one over there. Have a small amount of kip just to get our stuff back. So, sleep. Sleep! We're actually warm in here. So we're actually not cooling down and at risk of dying. Do, do, do. Right, so that's got us a little bit of energy back. So now I'm going to spend a bit of time... Well, f Goddamn fire. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and skin that bastard over here. Let's get all the meat we can, which is going to take quite a long time. This is going to cool us down, but not tremendously, because it is... Oh, it's getting towards... It is actually getting towards evening. Right, so we've got absolutely bucket loads of meat. What's that? Oh, you can do that now, can't you? Um, you can actually quarter it and do other stuff. That's like that's, I've never actually bothered investigating that though. Um, I'm actually going to get some hide. I'm have to leave something behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be burning it all soon anyway, so don't worry about that, mate. Right, so I'm getting quite low on stuff, but that doesn't matter too much. Oh, oh crow feather. Okay, because the corpse. Yeah, more crow feathers. More crow feathers. They're they're light as anything, so I'm not going to worry too much. Anything else I can get whilst I'm prannying around. Do we really need rose hips? Hmm. Whatever. Right, okay. I think it's high time that we did all the necessary. All the fiery stuff. Uh, this is going to have to last us like ten hours or something, but there's coal for days. That's, well, there will be. Over there somewhere. So, let's have a go with it, because we will need some accelerant. We will need to do a lot of cooking and watering and stuff like that. Let's put on that. The coal won't be ready just yet, I don't think. 28 minutes yet. So, add fuel, add more fuel. 27 minutes. Alright, that's fine. It just needs to get up to temperature. Oh! You can actually burn yourself in this. <laughs> so don't. Alright, so now... I'm going to have to drop some gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the, where's the coal? It's really gone really invisible. And... So we need some water. So let's have a bit of a... Bit of an old glug. Let's have the crap stuff. The stuff that's heavier, I believe. I'm going to have to move that sleeping bag, aren't I? To closer to the fire. Um, let's put it... There. There we go. I'm getting very tired. So, let's see. I mean, you could do with... Let's do the cooking, actually, because that'll take up some mouldy venison. Good God. That'll use up some of the time before we add the coal. Got loads of meat. Cook that in all. Oh, I'm getting knackered. And get some water out of it. We've got 2.6, that's quite a lot. I'm not going to bother, actually, because um, 
some crows are out there. I'm not going to get much sleep with them, them around. Because uh, I don't really want to have to carry it all, I guess. So let's add... There we go. Um, nine. So we've got nine hours worth of... S hmm. Is there any more stuff? I'm going to pop those sticks that I found. I might as well just add the sticks. Uh-huh. Right, so that's up to almost 10 hours. So let's just get a little more, and then we'll go to Kip. Although we will actually have to we'll actually have to start doing a bit of eating and stuff as well. Oh, the wind's blowing in now. God damn it. Where are sticks? Sticks! Ah, here we go. Survival, the priority right now. There's a couple more around here. I could break down branches, but then I'll get cold and it'll be... Well, actually, cold isn't too much of a problem at the moment, because I've got a lovely toasty fire to go home to. There we go. I can use up my stamina, because there's no... Well, we're going to re re restore that any second now. Let's get a bonus crow feather. And let's go back indoors. I've run out of stamina now. God, look at the icicle on that! It's like a stalactite. Look at that. Maybe I can open my gob and drink. Maybe not. Right. Fuel. Well, let's just not use up all my stuff. Oh, we actually have to eat now, don't we? God damn it. Let's let's actually do some scranning. Otherwise we won't survive the night. That's plenty. Um, I'll some of the soda. Because I'll also provide a bit of extra food. And top up the rest with water. Right, that should be enough. It is now almost night time. The fire is good for another 10 and a bit hours. So let's go to sleep for 10 hours. Then if if it is still compl pitch black in the morning, I can quickly whack those sticks on and we'll get a bit of extra heat out of it. Just a little bit of extra. Oh, I didn't quite... Um, huh. Oh, probably because I, I do need to have a drink, actually, before I go back to bed. Didn't quite get the full amount of sleep. But it's good because it gave me a chance to do all this nonsense. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not, that might actually kill me. <laughs> I, think, I think I'll avoid eating the really bad stuff. Oh, I'll risk that one. Oh, I think we're good. Right. So. God, look how foggy it is today. today. Okay. One more hour of sleep. Oh, it's still bloody quite moony. All right. At least I'll save the game again. Whee. Lovely long lashes. <laughs> hmm. Fog's cleared. But we're still very much in the middle of the night. Well, the middle of the night. It's going to be a bit of time. Hmm. Okay. Bit more fuel. Bit more fuel. One more hour of sleep. And I think we should be good. Uh, I think it's time we actually headed out. I think we've got pretty much full everything. It is just about good enough morning. We don't... Nah, I'm going to pick up a couple of stones. What's, what's, our, what's our pack weight at the moment? Because it's getting a bit... 20... Oh, God! It's gone down to 28. I must have just used a load of stuff up. I'm not sure what that was. It's probably the firewood. Or the coal and everything. Well, fine. I think it's time to move on. Right, so what are we on the map, then? I pressed the wrong thing there. Are we still very much... Oh. <laughs> ah. Terra Incognita. Well, we've got ourselves um, some good food and water at the moment, so we can have a bit of a explorey poos. This is... We turn left. Bye-bye, fire. Oh! Before we go, actually, let's take a torch. Because I think I actually got rid of my last one. Take it from the floating fire. We've 19 minutes left. Nine minutes left. There we go. Um, extinguish that. For later. Hide it with the H button. And we're off into the new morning. Properly this time. What's that? Oh, it's a sign. It's another climbing area sign. So do I have to... I might have to go up in the air again. So I'm not sure which way I'm going at the moment, but... This looks like a possibility. There's some signs. Like more signs we could sort of like um, pretend are something to follow. Oh, there's a rope. 
There actually is a rope. Okay. Well... I currently have full stamina. I think it's time we actually went for a bit of a spin up in the air. Right, let's see how we're doing. Oh, it's hard to tell. You can't actually see your stamina when you're doing this. Uh, maybe if I press tab. Yeah, if you press tab, it's all good. Oh, it actually really burns through your hunger. Oh, I didn't know that. Doesn't seem to affect your stamina. Maybe it's changed recently. Maybe the um, stamina isn't so much of a problem, um, a, a thing anymore. Well, so I've randomly come up in the air for no reason at all. <laughs> Probably. There's a crow feather. Why is a crow feather there? It's not a crow feather. Oh. <laughs> I pretended it was. I thought it was. Well, I really must remember this, the old stick situation because I've burnt everything that I've got. Yeah. We will need to be starting fires. I'm going to run out of accelerant quite soon, which is um, slightly intimidating. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's not good. Why did I come up here? This is a stupid place to be. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, I'm not 100% sure there's any point in coming up here at all. That's annoying. So I've wasted a lot of stuff doing this. A lot of energy. No. No. I knew it. I knew there had to be something. Even if it was just like a bonus. But it's not. It's actually a way... What was that? It said something fly away. Right. It's a little walkie-poos. So in a game like this, I don't think it would just have a random pointless thing. Uh, yeah, that's rather strange design, wouldn't it be? So this is, yeah, this is all good. Ah, another waterfall there. So I don't know if there was anything worth finding down there, but I suspect not. I think it was guiding us up here, going up in the air. That'd be a nice little warm corner. Uh, last resort. We are getting very cold, actually. This is, um, the temperature is going down, down, deeper and down. But nice sunrise. If it was just a bloody sunrise, that's probably why. And that's just... Because it's um, it still feels like the middle of the night. Uh, temperatures look like it's just risen a little bit just now because it's it's going down by two bars instead of three. The old, the old um, cold. Ooh, that's quite a pretty little th place. Right, let's see what food I've got just in case I need. Do I need to gut this thing? Not really. Let's have a bit of um, that. Really don't think I'm going to ever use these feathers. I th can't remember what I use feathers for, but I think I have a feeling. I seem to remember it's something to do with if you wanted to craft ar um, arrows, uh, which is a, such a fanny of a thing to do. I did it once, literally just once for a how-to video, how to craft a bow and arrow, uh, and never again because it was such a ball ache. And then they made it even ball achier at one point by making it so you had to cure stuff. Ugh. This is a nice little... Uh, oh, I like this. Not sheltered, though. It's not giving me shelter. I wonder if this, this, this isn't by any chance that bloody gorge in um, Timberwolf Mountain, is it? I don't think so. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I just got a prompt. Where did I got a prompt somewhere? I wonder what that was. Oh, it was him. Right. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to bother with that. Unless it's kind of like, maybe, maybe I should actually, because it feels like I should. Just because it's there. Emergency scranning, I guess. Scranning means eating. It doesn't really. It doesn't, I'm not sure what it means. Oh, so come a long way, baby. Another beautiful waterfall. And, oh, right. Now where do we go? Oh, cavey! To cavey poos. Ooh, all right. That seemed like fairly ominous and final. Oh, we're fine. Thank God we got here, actually, because I'm, I'm on the verge of freezing. But it looks like it's a bit warmer in here. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's go for the old torture -oo. Glad I brought this now. So I burnt the last one. 
in a fit of peak. Oh, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Oh, apparently it wasn't a waste of time. It was, um, there's an, um, nope, no, did it bother with that. Huh. So, now where do I go? For, yeah, down here, I think. Knowing me, I've now turned round 180 degrees. I'll be going home um, back out again. Oh no! A choice of viewing here on BBC One. Oh, by the looks of it, this is just a little dead end, you poos, but one with fuel in it. In it. Right. Good. Fine. Strong. I am now overweight again. Careful. I don't, I don't know why I'm terrified. There's never, never anything scary in a cave other than the possibility of pitch blackness. Right, there's another choice. Uh, not much of a choice. Oh, stop complaining about the bloody coal. It's only coal. Right, this way. And... I wonder if this is going to emerge into this, into this, um, the old sandbox area. Or probably episode two, actually, because that's going to... There's still an episode two. Bloody hell. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Almost panic there. Anything around here? No. I might have... It gave me stuff to start a fire with at, at one point, didn't it? Let's get rid of that. I'll probably... Oh, no, it's fine. I need to drop something. Your trousers! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I am carrying too much coal. Investigating every little nook. Right, choice again. Left. Ah, some more stuff. Okay, let's, um... I, have to, I have, will actually have to drop something, because I am a little overwhelmed. Oh, it's only 31 kilograms. You moaning mini. Let's go this way. I was up to 34 kilograms um, the other day. I need to build you up, Will Mackenzie. I need, need some beard oil at some point. I bet, I'm, I'm, I bet I'm sprouting a right in at the moment. Oh, you can't even see it. Nice little um, Canadian hat. Or toque, or whatever the hell it's called. Oh! Achievement unlocked, leaving the old world behind. A heartfelt thanks to the 1.3 million players who took a chance on the long dark when it was first on Kickstarter, and then later on early access and game preview. Your steadfast support of our efforts have a go as long as we say. And we hope you enjoy the breath. Wait. <laughs> uh. Well, that's the end of episode one. Uh, with that somewhat grisly encounter, puts little finger to mouth. Huh. It's a nice little thing. It's a very kind of a. It's a different experience, I guess, because it is. It's not exactly a corridor. It's like a corridor, but with like um, like um, spots where you can actually like spread out, like such as Milton. Uh, the Milton experience uh, was a bit kind of like generic fetch questy type stuff, but uh, I suppose it, it kind of like was introducing you to the whole sort of um, almost like a survival in a open world while still not being an open world sort of thing. So that's fine. That's fine. Also, shout out to the score. Um, yeah, because as soon as once they've changed from the um. When they changed from the sandbox to actually story mode release, they did actually add the new title music, which was suddenly really good. I mean, I, was li I like the old one, but this is, yeah, it's really rather good. Uh, cool. All right, so that is episode one. Uh, how many? I'm not sure how many videos I'm. It was like I don't know, seven or eight parts of this, depending on how I split it up. But yep, yeah, all very good indeed. But we don't know anything about perseverance yet. Um, we found that note or the the bloody note, but I'm sure that'll. Um, Something will happen in episode two related to that. So we may pick this up again in episode two. Um, keep on checking the channel to see when we do that, if we do it. Uh, do subscribe, um, because you know you want to. Or else. Yes, or else. <laughs> and do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and keep us going. Keep me in booze. Yes. Huh, right, okay, so thanks for watching. Unless there's a, like a, an exciting um, extra bonus scene at the end of the credits. 
Spider-Man, which we shall actually see um, any second now. Maybe um, maybe they'll reveal Spider-Man or something. Spoiler, they did not um, reveal Spider-Man. <laughs> 